Studios. And I'm Coach Cat. And today we're going to talk about how to raise your soft palate. Raise the roof. Raise that roof. Raise the roof. Stay tuned, we got some great stuff for you. Alright guys, we're going to hop into step one. And step one is going to be yawning actually. So a way I like to make myself yawn, I mean, I'm always yawning because I'm always tired, you know, <laughs> low iron. Anyway, <laughs> you really want to trap in your air, but also drop your tongue. So really open up your mouth and kind of feel that space um, forming in the top in the soft palate area. <sighs> they, are, they are contagious, by the way. Yes. I'm just gonna let you know about that. So I'm depressing my tongue, and I'm opening my mouth, and I'm just sort of like breathing in. And as I breathe in, <sighs> you feel that soft palate going up. I'm ready for a nap now. But you feel that Ooh. soft palate going up. That is your palate raising. Yes, and your eyes may water like mine do. It always mm -hmm. happens. Um, not crying, I swear. Uh, uh, yeah. But <laughs> that space is what you're really looking for. That depression of the tongue, it's, it's not forced. But the space is what you're looking for because the tongue goes down and the uvula comes up. So there's this kind of emotion with it that is very beneficial for increasing space when you sing. And again, space is one of the cardinal needs and right. rules of any extreme or higher levels or space and support. Right. And right. not only is yawning beneficial and helping you know when it comes to raising your soft palate, but it's also a good warm-up, a pre-warm-up. Yeah. I like to make my students yawn before we even get into the warm-up itself because it really stretches yes. and kind of, it's like its own muscle warm-up. It's, it's like sense. vocal yoga, guys. Yeah. It's vocal oh yoga. Oh my goodness, it's that is downward perfect. dog for your voice. Yeah. Yes, totally. Okay, so <laughs> step number one, guys, is yawning. Practice it, let us know how it went. We're going on to step number two. Okay, so step number two, guys, is a surprise inhale. Imagine that you are coming home to a hard from a hard day's work and you are being surprised for your birthday and you went, oh my gosh, like that's so great, right? So there's this instant raise of the cheekbones, raise of the eyebrows, raise of the soft palate, depression of the tongue, and an inhalation all at once in one beautiful movement. Woo. And that's what we're trying to get you to do in step number one. But if yawning for some reason isn't something that you can do on call, then just that surprise inhale, is gonna work really well as well because it creates the space that, and there she goes. <laughs> or you may surprise inhale and yawn like Coach Cat because you know she's uh, caffeine. She needs oh it. Oh my okay. goodness! Sorry about it. Yeah. So, um, so step number two, guys, is that surprise inhale. And the reason that we're trying to get you to again raise the soft palate. The point of this video is because we need to give you ways to create more space and not just externally in our musculature with our jaw but internally where our tongue comes down our throat and sometimes that can raise and sort of create a kink in the hose. So this is a really great way to create and maintain open space for the sound to spin in the back of the throat. Now this is not to be confused with that husky pushed over vocal produced sound mm -hmm. that can happen if you overdo this and if you force it. So if you start to sound like Kermit the Frog, you've gone too far in this, okay? Let's read it back a little bit. Hey, that's talent. <laughs> that's talent. <laughs> we're, we're not going for Kermit, okay? No, no. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're gonna move on to step number three. And step number three is the tongue depressor. Woo, tongue depressor trick. Okay, so if you don't have a tongue depressor at home, guys, you can use anything that is sterilized and that is you know, straight, as long as it's straight, okay? So the reason that this is step number three is because if you have had success in the, the yawn, raising your uvula, or you've, you've had success in the others, you may have been able to raise, but perhaps your tongue is also raising with your uvula. It's not depressing. We want the raise of the soft palate, but we also want the depression of the tongue to create the max amount of space. So this is sort of like a fail safe yeah. way of knowing that your tongue's depressed. Don't stick it too far back or you're gonna gag yourself and that's not a good look. But just, you know, to the to the middle part of your tongue, you know, no farther than where your teeth go back. All right, so you're just gonna put it right here and you're just gonna lightly depress down and allow your tongue to flatten out against the pressure of the tongue depressor. Like so. Don't I look cute? <laughs> you <look> great. <laughs> I was always that girl who went to the doctor's office and they were like, say ah, oh, and they're about to do the tongue depressor and they're like, oh, oh, you, you don't need that because you can just do it and you, and you know the feeling of depression. Well, this will help you know the feeling of proper tongue depression. You don't want to overdo it. 
and you don't want to force it, but you do want to know the mechanics of how it feels to have a depressed tongue versus a relaxed or an arched tongue. And you want to be able to have the control over that, not the tongue doing it involuntarily. All right, guys. Well, this was how to raise your soft palate. Now, step number one, remember, it's yawning. Step number two, surprise inhale. And step number three, you got your tongue depressor trick. Yep. Use these guys. Let us know how it went for you in the comments box below. Let us also know what you would like us to do tutorials on next because that's where we take our suggestions from. Make sure if you haven't checked out our merch already that you do so in the description box below because we terabytes have to represent, you know? And if you get one, make sure that you snap a picture of yourself and email it to the description box email below so that we can shout you out on one of our next videos. Who knows? Your face may be in it. Make sure you spread faith not fear, love not germs, be a blessing in a stranger's life because that is how we change the world, guys. We, Coach Kat and I, and the coaches at TSS, love you so much. We need you to know that. We're very proud of you. Thanks for being the best part of our channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notifications button, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.